these years just keep on rolling by. And now that we're closing out the year, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of you who are working on New Year's related projects. So with our minds set on that, we're gonna break down four different types of New Year's motion graphics and effects that you can use on any project that you're working on. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel. We're officially in the 2022 version of Sunduck Film. Well, that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> but if you're ready to create some awesome work, be sure to drop a like on this video and let's jump in. If you want to follow along this video and have the assets as a template, you can download this project file for free. That link will be in the description below. So the first thing we're going to talk about is creating these really cool coming at us particles. So what we want to do is go to layer new solid and we want to select the color of our particle. So I'm going to do a nice light sort of peachy orange and click OK. Then I'm going to go to effect simulation and grab CC starburst. I'm going to come here and increase the scatter. So I'm gonna set this up like 330. And I'm gonna come here to the size and make it a little bit smaller. Then we can set the speed down to like 0.2 and simply we'll have these particles coming at us uh, very easily. Then let's go to effect stylize and let's grab a glow. I'm gonna set the glow radius to 40 and then I'll add one more effect, go to distort and I'm gonna grab a CC lens and I'll set the size up to about 150. So now we'll just have this very nice base particle. What I'm gonna do is take this solid and duplicate it. Go to edit, duplicate, and I'll grab our bottom layer here. And this time around, I'm gonna go to CC Starburst and set the scatter down to like 110. Set our grid space into say three and come here to the size and bring this to 20. So the goal here was to make some smaller background particles here, and that's good. So overall, we're gonna have these really cool particles for our scene. All right, so for our second New Year's tip here, I wanna create a really cool, strong, title that you know is going to stand out has a little bit of gloss to it it's super simple to do this so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously type out a title and when your title is typed out the first thing we probably want to do is actually create the animation for this so we'll do something simple we'll open up the title layer we'll come here to animate enable per character 3d then we can open up the text options here and we'll go to animate and we can just do a quick uh, rotation and we can set our y rotation to 90 degrees add a property go to opacity and set that to 0%. And then just here at the beginning of our timeline, uh, we'll come into range selector, add a keyframe for start, move forward maybe by a second, and set this up to 100%. And then you can select both keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy, ease keyframes. Okay, so that was super simple, but now we can start working on the style of our title. So what we're gonna do here uh, is we're gonna take our layer, we'll duplicate it, and we'll come here to the bottom text layer, and we will come here to the swap fill icon for the character window. We'll come here to the stroke color and we'll select you know, a warm gold type color for our title stroke. And you really can't see it and you can adjust the stroke width right here. Now for our top layer, what we wanna do is go to effect, uh, generate, and we're gonna grab a gradient ramp. And you'll see two anchor points for our gradient ramp. And we'll go ahead and kind of close this in on the title like so. And you can swap the colors and maybe we'll make the top color a little bit darker. So you get this nice smooth gradient and you have this nice stroke around the title. Now we wanna grab our stroke title here and what we wanna do is add a few cool effects that really make this pop. So the first thing we'll do is go to effect, uh, we'll go to generate and we'll add a quick CC light sweep to this. And you'll get like that nice shine look on it. You're welcome to animate the center if you want this moving, but I actually don't wanna do it for this tutorial. I'm gonna duplicate the CC light sweep effect and just move it to another part of the title here. You're welcome to increase the width a little bit um, and some of the other settings as you see fit. Then I also wanna go to effect perspective and add a quick uh, bevel alpha to this. And that's it. So that can really stand out uh, and make our title seem a little bit more bold. You know, as again, you can change the stroke width here and that will help with the thickness of your title. And one last effect I wanna to apply to the top layer is go to effect uh, perspective again and add a drop shadow to this. And this will add, cast a little bit of a shadow on the stroke part of our text. And I think that just looks really crisp. And before we move on to our next technique, if you're looking to create awesome motion graphics that stand out within a click of a button, check out our 300 plus editors motion pack for After Effects and also Premiere Pro. With our easy to use Atomex extension, all you have to do is find a graphic that you like and hit apply. Once it's on the timeline, you can easily customize colors and other parameters to fit your needs. You can check out the 300 plus editors motion pack and all the other packs we have off the website on sunduckfilm.com. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work, you can check out those links in the description below. 
So no New Year's project is really complete without some level of fireworks. I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't talk about adding fireworks in the scene. However, you really just can't create great fireworks from scratch in After Effects. So if you download the project file, which is absolutely free, you can get this firework asset uh, and we can bring this asset into our composition and you can set your blend mode to add. And then you go to effect, color correction, you can add like a tritone to this and this will help colorize the firework. You come here to the midtone color and you can change the color to, you know, whatever color, you know, makes sense for your project. And then this gives us the opportunity to hit SR on keyboard for scale, scale it down and reposition where we want the firework to be. And we duplicate this, you know, several different times. And then we can just offset these layers in our timeline so they don't all come in at the same exact time. So you'll create a, some of a unique firework look here with these assets. And now these extra fireworks here, it just adds you know a few more touches of detail to our scene. Uh, and now we can start taking this to the next level with our next technique. All right, so now we wanna spice this up with some extra title design to you know, help make things stand out. I added just an extra title below here, Happy New Year. You're welcome to do what you want, the title animations, of course, but let me show you how you can create this outline really quick. So what we'll do is we'll grab the stroke version of our title here, you'll see it's this one. And what we'll do is we'll duplicate it. And all we're gonna do is go to layer, pre-compose. And I'll call this duplicate title and click okay. We're gonna go into this composition and I'll come here and I'm gonna change my color, my text color back to white. Um, and you know, there's all that. And then when our title's ready to go, what we'll do is come here to composition, go to composition settings and we'll bring down the height and we'll kind of close in on our title like this and click okay. We'll make sure that this is in the center. Then back in our main composition, all we're gonna do is take our title, we'll move it over here to say to the left side, and then we'll go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab motion tile. And we'll expand the output height. And you'll see we'll get these duplicates here. That's cool. And then we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline. We can add a keyframe for tile center. We'll move forward here, and we can have this animate upward like this. Then just to kind of follow through a little bit more with this, we can take this layer, duplicate it, and we can move this over to the other side of our composition. And I can have it animate in the other direction uh, as well. Now I've done a few extra things here. So um, I added an adjustment layer of noise. You're welcome to do that. And like I said, I did animate the tracking of our title. So all you have to do to add a tracking is go to animate and add a tracking and you keyframe you know, how you want the title to expand. And here's what we have everything put together. You can use these techniques in any different way that you want to use. Of course, you don't have to combine all these together. I just do that so I can teach a handful of what I believe are useful tips for a New Year's video. And always remember, you don't have to create the same exact thing that I create. The point of these tutorials is to just showcase, you know, several different techniques that you can use in your own way. So if you just want to use the fireworks, you can just do that. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. We got After Effects content on there as well. And always be creative.